here during the summer. We're good for that one day that brings all day rain and stormy weather. And it looks like Friday will be it. Here is what we know about Friday's system. Rain will begin between about 3 to 6 a.m. from south to north across the area. It probably won't be consistent all day, but there will be a lot of heavy downpours. The atmosphere will be loaded with moisture. And as a result, roadway flooding will be our biggest threat from this. And out on the water, strong rip currents, dangerous rip currents, will be a threat as well. The wind threat will be low. That is some good news. And in addition to that, the coastal flooding threat will be relatively low. We still need to figure out if we're even going to see coastal flooding. That is one of the things that I will be looking towards this morning and get you a final answer on as we go into the afternoon. But if we are talking about coastal flooding, we're talking about minor flood stage at worst. I do believe the rain is the biggest threat from this for most of us here in South Jersey. This all comes at an interesting time because we do have an updated hurricane forecast from Colorado State University. That and NOAA are the gold standards for hurricane forecasts, and they did bump up their prediction. Now they're forecasting 20 named storms, nine hurricanes, four category three or greater major hurricanes, and we're about the same for a risk of a major landfalling hurricane on the East Coast. On average, we have our numbers here. We're looking to be a good amount above that on our named storms, but as we've seen so far this year, thankfully, all of our tropical systems have been no greater than a tropical storm. Let's get you out the door this morning. Temperatures rising through the 70s here. We'll have a mostly cloudy to partly sunny sky and a southerly wind. It'll be soupy out again today. And temperatures will be on the warmer side. We'll be 91 in Vineland, 91 in Hamilton, closer to the coast. We'll be a little cooler, 86 over in Linwood, 86 in Pleasantville as well. And we'll be in the low to mid 80s along the shore. Water temperatures still really warm here in the mid to upper 70s. Maybe Make sure you are close to the lifeguards for today. You should be close to the lifeguards every day, but especially today, our rip current risk will be a moderate and our burn time will be about 25 minutes. And here we go. Let's look at what we are expecting for Friday. Periods of rain will begin between 3 to 6 a.m. It's going to be pretty heavy during the morning hours. And then as that low pressure system comes closer to us, we could actually get a break in the activity. And then for the afternoon, we will just see scattered areas of rain here. I think the radar is a little more filled in with this. And again, any downpour could bring areas of roadway, stream, or creek flooding. Here's our mainland seven-day forecast. As we go past Friday, Saturday and Sunday will be a pair of typical summer days. Morning sunshine, a couple of afternoon thunderstorms, especially on Saturday but I wouldn't necessarily cancel any outdoor plans unless you don't have a tent overhead for your barbecue or you are really planning on being at the beach all afternoon and evening long. Temperatures will be around 90 degrees and we'll climb up to 92 on Monday. As we flip over to the shore seven day, you see pretty much the same story here. Temperatures will be just a little bit cooler, of course, with the sea breeze. I think by Wednesday, we should be dry here in South Jersey. We'll have more updates on what's to come Friday. And we'll have it all on social media here, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, and my Something in the Air newsletter will come out tonight. And you can sign up for that at thepressofac.com slash